I'm Ellie. I'm Izzy. And welcome to She Hit Me With A Cactus. Don't really understand what's going on. It's very hard. No, it is anything. It's not my only problem. Are you sure it's a bathroom? Yeah, chicken feet. One, two, three. Oh! Ooh. Welcome back to another episode of She Hit Me With A Cactus. I have cramp in my foot. Already? <laughs> I've only just begun. I know. So what are you about? <laughs> what, in your, in your toes? No, in my Is it arch. doing that thing where it splits your toes no. apart? No, it's in my arch. Oh, that's that's actually better. I quite like that pain. No. No. Well, you can have it then. You can knead it out with your knuckles. It's quite... Not not here. No one wants to see that. But <laughs> how are you? <laughs> um. Yeah, I've been really ill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I am much better. Thank Good. you for asking. That's okay. I think I had the Rona. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me. I've seen you in the last week. <laughs> well, no, you saw me like just before I got really sick and then you saw me after. Yeah, I so probably really your sick. most contagious time I saw you. Are you ill? Not no. yet. Not yet. Well, if you well, do. Maybe I'm asymptomatic and I'm just spreading it to, I mean, I don't go anywhere, but. If you do, it's not my problem. <sighs> Breathing on the whole of London. I'm going to London. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, well, that's not where we no. are. Um, yeah, I've been a real sick, girl. No, oh. um, but I feel much better. I'm just incredibly, like, why <laughs> did it take you so long to decide what you were? Because I have no brain. She's power. tired. I'm, I'm tired, tired too, actually. Are you? It's a Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. I do quite like a Wednesday, actually. I don't mind a Wednesday because then it's like, oh, only two more days, and then when we don't enjoy a Tuesday. No, Tuesday's worst day. I stand by that. Agreed. Um, but yes, I am thriving now that I'm back from Germ City population. Me. Great. Can I, for you. I ask you. How may you? <laughs> you may. <laughs> I'm How upset. Oh. I, I'm really upset, actually. Is it me? No, it's not you. I'm struggling to think of things to eat for lunch mm. at the moment. Yeah. Like, really struggling. I get that. It's kind of, I mean, I'm normally a soup everyday gal. It's just not hitting it for me anymore. And Niall's mm. eating all my bread, so I don't have any bread. <laughs> he does eat a lot of bread. Really? So I don't, yeah, I don't, what else can I eat? I don't have anything else. I just kind of mooch. I, I just snack all day. I have a salad. Oh, I, yeah, have salads I, 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 I have salads for dinner, like chicken salads yeah. and things like that. I've got to save my leaves. Yeah. And then I, Niall ate most of my spinach, so he just comes to my house and just eats all my food and then leaves again. Eats your spinach and your bread. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, a lot of sandwiches he has whilst he's at my house. <laughs> spinach sandwich. Yeah. No, I, but I normally buy more cheese, but you can't buy loads of spinach because it, it turns like into that green sludge at the yeah. bottom and it just tastes Get disgusting. That. So I'm struggling. So if anyone has any good lunch recommendations that take me like five minutes, because if it's anything I have to cook, I'm not doing it. What about a wrap? Yeah, I don't have wraps, though. That's my problem. But you could get wraps. Yeah, I could, but I don't want to. In the grand scheme of things, you could buy a wrap. I could, but then I, I don't know. It just Ooh, I have wraps. Great. <laughs> but other than that, I'm fine. Also a little bit annoyed about lip balm at the moment. Me Where too. does it go? I don't Where know. does it seep into? Am I just, like, under the skin, a just big a big glob of petroleum jelly? I don't know, but it, I also find it's... I get it, like, smeared up my mouth. Okay, I don't do that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Sometimes I just find it. And it's, it's just like, like shiny like up, up here. here. Yeah, like, I've never had that experience. There? It just, it goes within like two minutes. I'm like, I really mm. am dehydrated if it's... I tell you, not product placement, but if you want to sponsor me, you can. Um, the Palmer's... Oh, yeah. Coconut one. Coconut. Coconut. <laughs> I can't afford that. Well, it's... If you just buy it one time, then... I'll tell you what I don't like. Well... Carmex. Oh, I love Carmex. No, too sticky. No, I, I tell you also like what that. I don't like. No offense, but if you do want to sponsor me, I may learn to love you. <laughs> well, then I'm going to sponsor you if you're bashing their product. Um, I don't like it on my lips, but I don't mind it elsewhere. Like, no, because you can use it as like um cuticle oil or like Vaseline. No, Doctor Paw Paw. I've never heard of that. Oh, I'll enlighten you after this. Doctor Paw Paw. It's so sticky. I used to like Burt's Bees. That was quite nice because it smelled nice. But now I love Carmex because that's that's thicker and it actually does stay on my lips for a little I bit. I don't longer. mind the pot Carmex. Oh no, I like the squeezy Carmex. No. That's my favourite. Now I'll have it's a strawberry cherry. a strawberry flavour one. That makes me sick. Mine's cherry. No, Is that no, I can't one? can't I just need the plain stuff. I can't I don't like flavoured like See, like just... fake cherry or fake strawberry. I can't deal with I just that. I don't it's... like anything that's too sticky. Oh no, I like because I'll be like No, I quite like that. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, <laughs> should we have should we have, a, have a whinge after we've had a <laughs> after we've sure. had a whinge? Let's anyway, should we have a winkly whinge? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. We're not doing this. In Luca Heights. Whoa. No, stop. Mysterious stop. girl. Ka-chow.
Oh, now I'm adding a new I thing every cars. single week. You love cars? Yeah. Oh, the movie? Yeah. I haven't seen that since I was probably about seven. Well, I don't think it was out when you okay, were Okay, well, I think I saw it ahead of time. <laughs> I really I, I think I've probably only watched it one time. Really? Yeah, I, I would have a cult maybe classic. put it in my top five. Really? Films? Yeah. No. Yeah. Animated. Animated. I was going to say, <laughs> below me. That's uh, most of my favourite films are animated films. What, top four, go. Films yeah. or animated, animated. films? Uh, I'm a Shrek gal. Yeah. Toy Story gal. No. I do love Inside Out, especially the second one. Very good, it's actually. You're a Gen Z. <laughs> From really barely one. You're a Gen Z. No, I'm not. I'm you're, a oh, you're a cusp. You're a cusper. I'm a cusper. <laughs> yeah, but I'm barely a Gen Z anyway. So old and <laughs> withered. Um, what else do I like? I like Frozen 2. Oh, I remember my weekly winch. <laughs> okay, sorry. I haven't got to you yet. I know, but I've just remembered it. Okay, go ahead. What was your weekly winch? Um, why were we talking about films? Oh, because I, I said no, good job. rate me. What? Don't rate me. <laughs> no. I don't want to rate you. <laughs> a two. Top four films. Okay. Animated. I don't know. You gave me three. I can't think of them off the top of my head if you give me five minutes whilst no, you're talking. I don't have time for five minutes. Okay, I don't Mine know Mine are Jungle Book. Yeah, also very good. Nemo. Oh, Finding yeah, Nemo. Yeah, Finding Nemo. Definitely up there. Forgot that one. Cars. Sorry. Yeah. I'm a big Shrek fan. I also really like Ratatouille. I don't think I've ever seen Ratatouille. Uh, you'd like Ratatouille. It's about rats. I got that. Out from the title. <laughs> and do we? Uh, do you remember that era during? Was it during lockdown when they were doing like Ratatouille the musical on TikTok? <laughs> Potentially, I don't know. That that was a weird time. You could be Remy. You have Remy like features. I do. I, you feel it's like, like a rat. No, but it's like that it's thing. Like a charismatic where, rat. No, it's like that thing where you look at people and they're either a rat or a frog. Oh yes, I'm definitely a rat. I'm also. Yeah, a we're rat. rats. We're <laughs> I don't have face. I don't have no, frog features. But there are really. people that I look at and I'm like such a frog. Yeah. No, but isn't it rat, bunny, deer, oh. cat? No, I thought it was just rat or frog. Oh, uh, there's also another one that's like deer. But are you bunny pretty, deer pretty, dog I'm pretty? A, I'm just a rat. Because men are lizards, <laughs> lizard, bear, dog, or lion. Is that what it was? I, do, I it's gone a bit too okay, far. Okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I was just thinking. What's your weekly win? Um. Okay, so Gen Alpha. Right. Is that the newest one? Yeah, first right. of all. Ugh. Yeah, grim. Sorry. No. If, sorry if you are one. It's not so much you, it's just the thought of it. Like The thought of you like, makes us sick. Well, no. <laughs> like we got to Gen Z and now we're back to the beginning. Yeah, isn't it you know weird I mean? that I kind of thought Gen Z would be like, that would be it. Yeah. Like, I, I just never really considered that there would be a generation after it. <laughs> My concern mm. is that they have their own language. You have no idea. No idea what they're talking about. And I started saying whilst I was away, skibbity toilet, just yeah. to be funny. And I have no what idea what does it mean. I don't think it means anything. What does Sigma oh, mean? Oh, no, I don't know. don't know. What does Riz? Riz, I know. It's just like your chat, you know, like... I, actually, I did learn this one. It's short for charisma. charisma. Yeah. You sound so old. I know. <laughs> charisma. But I don't understand, like... Yeah, no, I have no idea most of they what they're speak, saying. There are things... It's active... I have no idea what that means. Apparently means it's good. It's active. Like, that doesn't oh, sound good at all. Pizza Hut is active. I don't want pizza to be active. <laughs> pizza Hut. I've got cramp again. You want Ow. pizza right now? Is that what you're craving? Oh, I, I really enjoy Pizza Hut. Pizza? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I pizza, actually, I'm a Pizza, pizza Express girl. Yeah, for sure. I like the schlop, schlop, <laughs> schloppy just. Yeah, pizza. you've talked about this on the, the schloppy one. <laughs> no. I like the schloppy just. No, I agree with you on the Gen Z, and I have no idea what's Gen going Z, on. Gen Alpha. Jal Jalfa. 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 The Jalfas. The Jalfas. <laughs> we don't know what you're saying. No, we have no idea what you're saying, and you're very hard to like. I, I'm also a little bit afraid of all of them. Yes. When I walk past, I find myself when I walk past like school age children like queuing for the bus. I'm like. God, I'm a bit scared of you. They're all just very intimidating. I, I just, don't know how to act around, like, when I walk, even, I mean, generally, I don't really know how to act around people, but I walk past young people specifically. I'm like, <laughs> don't act weird. <laughs> like, try and act I normal. Don't, I just don't I don't relate to you in any way. I, I think just, you're absolutely I, mad. I don't understand what you're saying. To be honest, I don't really understand my generation for the most part. I, I, I resonate more with millennials than I do with Gen Z because I'm almost a cusper. No, you're not. I am. You're Two, like four years 2000s, out. 2000s, quite no. old. No. I'm, I'm nearly mid-twenties. I'm late-twenties. Yeah, well, that's life, How isn't it? How yuck. Grim. <laughs> Actually, no, I would say I am mid-twenties. I'd say mid-twenties is 24 to 26. Late-twenties is 27 to 30. Well, no, 27 to 29. No? 
Yeah, sure. And then early 20s is 20 to the 23? Sure. I would say. But either way, no idea what you're saying. No. Can no. we speak the Queen's English? Kings. George. Oh, no, I'm sorry. George? It's the Queen's English. Who's George? Who is George? I don't know. Who is that one? <laughs> Charles. Giles. 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 <laughs> King Giles. <laughs> My weekly whinge is, sorry, your dog. <laughs> sorry about it. No, what do you mean? just specifically today, she had an absolute <laughs> fit. I've never experienced such a bout of madness. It was the weirdest hour of my entire life. I would just like to clarify, she's a tiny puppy. <sighs> she is she, very little. She hasn't quite grasped Adjusted to normality. life <laughs> Ellie, she's a nutcase. But she's not always. No, she's not always. But this specific sometimes, hour, that is my weekly wind. That hour of my life is my wind. Sometimes... Majority of the time, mm. she's very well behaved. Not not at my house. No. She she comes to my house and she just thinks there's like, some vibe. Oh my gosh, she just goes from absolutely mental. It was she was she was being an angel. She asked to go out to the toilet, she went to the toilet, lovely, came straight in, also went to the toilet all over the floor. And I was like, excellent, love that for you. Thank you so much for doing that. Then went like crazy and started doing laps. I was like, oh, she's a puppy, she's having fun, biting all the wires, then decided to drink an entire bowl of water. And I was like, well, that's excellent because you just weed on the floor. So that's really fun. Then was sick three times all over my floor. And then I was trying to scoop it up and she was trying to eat it. And I had the other dog trying to eat it at the same time. I was literally on the floor. Like, <laughs> and then I got out the disinfectant and she started drinking the disinfectant she didn't drink it no, she was, Ellie, she, she was, I was it was dripping out of the thing and she was like oh, like it was poisoned uh, my palm yeah well I'm sorry about it she was already sick three times but what was the harm and then she's, after that fell asleep it was magical she, she's never been sick before she's only sick when she's with you <laughs> oh please <laughs> also she doesn't really have sick. accidents here but no. she has tons of accidents when she's at my house because she gets outside and she's so excited to be in our garden that she just forgets what she's doing yeah she was licking bird poo. It was, it was just, and then came in and licked my face. <laughs> so that is my weekly winch. It's your just, dog. Again, I'd like to clarify. She's actually an <sighs> angel, like ninety-eight percent of the time. Mm. She's actually very well trained to a point. <laughs> she wouldn't walk home today. She's confused by the outside. She's, She's only been on three walks. Yeah, bless her. She's very confused. She's a baby. She is a wee baby, but I'd like the baby to improve by next time I, I like see the her. the baby to grow no, up. No, love her lots, but she is a whinge for this week. Aww. Love, lots of love. She is my niece and I love her dearly, but I did have to get very angry with her today. She's just she got... also thrives off being told off, which I don't really know how to correct. <laughs> like, I'm telling her off to her face and she does it more. <laughs> oh, also, she ripped my trousers, my favourite trousers. This was in the fit. It, she was doing laps. She drank a whole bowl of, <laughs> bowl of water, was doing laps for 20 minutes, and that made her sick. And then she had, like, sick dripping from her face, hung off of my trousers and ripped a hole in them. And they were my favourite trousers. <laughs> so I did have some choice words. And then she started barking in my face when I was telling her off. She loves a swear word. Yeah, loves it. Loves a swear word. <sighs> Gosh, she's just I not think she's there. saying it back. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't blame her. The amount I was shouting at her, I was like, how dare you, bitch, that way in my house. It's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. anyway, that was my weekly wind. Ba -ba 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 -ba, Jason Derulo in Luca Heights. Whoa, mysterious girl. ka -chow. Next up, we are going to be doing our Agony Aunt segment. Whoop, whoop. We are aunts. You're in agony. You send in our problems. No, don't you send, send in our problems. In <laughs> you don't want to know my problems. <laughs> you send in your problems to this very web address, www.shehitmewithacactus.com. If you want. Do you have a problem? Do you want us to fix it? Or do you want well, to... we can't. Well, we can't. But we can talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it to other people. <laughs> so that will make you feel better, I'm sure. So please do send in your issues. And the first one we have for this week is, any tips for a first date? I've never been out with anyone before and I'm scared on where to go and what to say. I'm scared. That's always me and just in general life. I'm scared of I'm where scared. to go and what to say. Um, I would say, I've always said this to all of my friends, go for lunch. Because don't go for dinner because it's dark and it's late and you might get carried away. And don't go for drinks, because also, same reason. Go for lunch. Neutral. Neutral ground. And I was speaking to my friend about this the other day. She was like, no, I can't eat. She doesn't want to eat on a first date, in case it ends up, like, all over her face. Spag bowl. No, but just don't eat spag bowl. Like, there are other things on the menu. That's why I said to her. Like, you can just get something that's not going to end up all over your face. <laughs> also, just, like, know how to eat correctly, and that won't happen to you. Just go to an exclusively spaghetti yeah. restaurant. On Nile and I's first date, we had a deal 
beforehand. Where Did we if... go to Subway? No, we went to Bill's. <laughs> no, that was Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, we went to Bill's. And he said to me, if you can guess what I'd order on the menu, I'll pay. And so I guessed. And... He was like, oh, no, that's not what I get. And then afterwards, he was like, actually, that was what I get. I just didn't want to pay. <laughs> you were still with him three years Yeah, ago. I don't know why, because what a cheek. I was like, he's, he seems like a chicken burger kind of man. And now I know him. He's a chicken burger man. He will always order a chicken burger. And he was like, no, I'm actually going to have the, uh, the chicken salad. He would never order the chicken salad. I don't know whether I've said this on the podcast, but Freddie and I went to the pub. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's also a good one. And... Um, a good like social, but, but it I was lunch. Like, it was yeah, lunch. okay, lunch at the pub. And I don't then, think I'd go in evening pub. No, we went for it's lunch. too much. But also, Freddie and I were friends before. Yeah, we see, that doesn't really count in um, my opinion. But he ordered um, steak sandwich without the sandwich. <laughs> so steak. <laughs> yeah, it was just, what? It was just the inside. a pile of meat <laughs> because it was lunch. They didn't have like it was just like a sandwich <laughs> menu, and he really wanted steak. Why didn't and they he didn't just have, have a sandwich? Because he didn't want the bread. Why? I just eat the bread. Because otherwise you're coming off really weird. He didn't want a sandwich. Did you not think that was weird? No, I knew him anyway. Yeah. I knew it was weird. That is <laughs> really weird. <laughs> but he said, oh, can I have the steak sandwich without the sandwich? So they just put like filling on a plate yeah. with some crisps. <laughs> well, quite nice, I guess. I mean, that's something I'd eat in my house alone. I don't think I'd order that at a restaurant. What did you eat? I don't remember. Like an actual sandwich. Probably not, actually. You're gluten-free. I think they did gluten-free. Yeah. Okay. Probably yeah. coronation chicken. Also, we've fast. not helped this person Sorry. whatsoever. Coronation what to chicken. do? Go for lunch. Lunch. Order something not that. Don't order steak sandwich. <laughs> order something sandwich. that's not going to get stuck in your teeth and not going to end up like all over your face if you know how to eat correctly <laughs> anyway. Don't eat soup. Don't eat what bolognese. What was the don't know what to say? Don't don't know where to go and, and don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything weird. Yeah, don't say anything strange. Don't say, like, skibbity toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do, then let's hope that they are also of the Jalfa. The Jalfa mm. era. <laughs> I want to know what age you are. Like, what can you talk about? Like, siblings. Talk siblings, about the weather. What you do for a living. No, don't talk about the weather. That's so boring. I don't know. Read up on some current events. <laughs> see if Take you can... a couple of fun facts. I used to go with a list of questions not questions but like <laughs> so no. thank you for meeting me no, not like an interview but like in case there was a lull of conversation I could just be like oh and not look at my phone and be like right next no but just like think of a couple of questions beforehand like siblings always good do you like to travel where have you last traveled to do you like pets do you like dogs or cats what's your favorite food favorite film things like that I'm, I'm amazing I should go on more dates but then, <laughs> just with random men I've only been on dates with people I already know Okay, well, maybe they don't know them. Well, I have not. Niall was a stranger to me. Well, A lying stranger. <laughs> That's what I got. Anyway, next. Hey, girls. Really weird hey. one for you. I'm dating a guy who's an identical twin. Ooh. And they're very identical. Even I struggle to tell the difference. Ooh. Last year, my boyfriend, his twin brother and I all went to a Halloween house party dressed as minions together. I recently Ooh. found out that I accidentally made out with his brother. <laughs> because he wanted to see if... I was a good of a kisser as my boyfriend told him. Bear in mind I'm only finding this out now almost a year later and it was my boyfriend's idea to help prove his point and I feel yucky. What do I do? That is really weird what? from your boyfriend. <laughs> to be like, yeah, kiss her. Because she's a really good kisser. I want, to, I want to show you how good of a kisser she is. That is... I'd really question that. That's not okay, is it? <laughs> At least it was just kissing. I mean, geez, What is her face? No, but seriously... It's my... That's weird. You need to okay. screenshot that and send it to him. <laughs> this. I will be a sticker. Mm. <laughs> Ew. Don't do that. Oh, sorry, I thought you were reacting to my sticker. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that is just... That's probably up there with one of the worst things that you could do to someone. It's just very bizarre. It's really icky. That's, that's like saying, oh yeah, share her around. Like, I don't care. That's like using... And abusing your twinship. Yeah, I agree. There are some cool things that you can do as a twin, and there are things like, that you can do to manipulate people. Look and like you're walking really fast. Okay, that by was... walking immediately in front of each Also, other. if I was a twin, I would feel the need to dress up like a twin, like at Halloween. Like I'd feel the need to go as the same thing. So at least they. Did I always do that. wanted to be a twin. I did too, but yeah. I didn't want you to be my twin. No, I didn't want you to be my twin. <laughs> so maybe I wouldn't have liked it because if they had your personality, I don't think I would have wanted it. <laughs> but also if they were had my personality I don't think I'd want someone exactly like me either well, no because then I would have been hit by two cactuses yeah <laughs> ha 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 next don't I think break up with this boy what no, just... also why, like why would you I would never want to be around the brother ever again 
That's weird. I would just say maybe if it was like a rogue occurrence. Just See, like, one I feel time. really taken advantage of. Do you understand like how weird that is? Please don't ever do that again. And also, like, I'm kind of a bit scared of you now. Yeah, I would maybe re- reflect on how the last year has been. If it's also had some weird occurrences, then maybe maybe rethink that. One. However, it if sounds it's like also, a weirdo. If that was just, can you stop talking to me? Sorry, please? I think I'm right though. <laughs> <laughs> if that was the only weird occurrence in the whole year, well, maybe? that she knows of. She's only just finding out now. Girl! There are some skeletons there. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Found my roommate eating my dog's kibble. <laughs> dog's kibble biscuits with her boyfriend in the middle of the night. Do I lock them away or ask her to stop? What, lock the <laughs> that's, what I thought, that's how I read it. Lock the people away. No, lock the biscuits away. Ask her to stop? <laughs> what a weird what? thing to ask. What a f- stupid oh, it's okay. question. I'm going to lock them up so she can have to buy her where, own kibble. Where, you... Stop asking stupid questions. (laughs) That is really stupid. Lock the kibble away and tell her to stop. What a strange thing. Why is she eating kibble? Why is is the boyfriend doing it too? Are they dogs? I think they're a bit (laughs) weird. I think you might need to move out. Is this university? Is it uni? Oh no, you shouldn't really have a dog at uni, should you? These are people that you've chosen to live with voluntarily. Get out. Get out of that house. Get out. If she's eating your kibble, like she's doing other weird things, let's be honest. She's like sniffing your shoes or like licking licking things, isn't she? Like she's that kind of weirdo. Licking things. Nah, got to get out. Next, I have access to my boss's emails, and I saw a message saying that he might have to let me go. Mm. I really need this job, and do you have any tips you have for kissing your boss's butt? Ugh. Ugh. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, delete the email. <laughs> <laughs> That's really not okay. You can't do that, surely. Why not? No, I would just be like, I'd, I'd maybe straight stay extra late or like. I don't know. No, because then if he's just going to let you go anyway. It depends on the circumstances why he has to let you go. If it's due to... If it's due to... If it's due to bad performance, then yes, adjust performance Well, clearly if they think that there's a shot, they wouldn't be asking this question. So it probably is due to bad performance. No, but also it could be due to, like, financials. Yeah, but then she wouldn't be trying. Yeah, because then you can prove that you're worth staying, you're worth mm. keeping over somebody else. I'll tell you what I would do. I'd ask for a meeting with my boss and then ask if there's anything that I can do to be like be a better employee, like improve. It's like, like, is there anything that I can do to work? Like, is there anything I need to work on? Like, is there any extra help that you need? Do no, that. because unless you're like significantly underperforming. But they said they really need this job. So she doesn't want to lose this job. I would, I would ask how you can improve. I would just maybe say, hey, saw the email. No, 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 no. You definitely should not be saying, oh, I've been looking through your emails and I saw you were talking about me. No, but if they've got access, it depends whether they know yeah, you've just because they have access to your boss's emails doesn't mean you should be reading through all the ones that he's got. Mm. He's probably just got that so that like, you're like monitoring, like, I don't know why you would have access to your boss's emails, but I don't think the, the goal of that would be like, yes, feel free to read everything that comes through, especially not if he's writing about you. No. Okay, next I'm so happy you're back. I love listening to your pod. Yes. Oh, I have a question. What age would you say is too old to get your belly button pierced? I wanted it done for ages, but I'm a bit of a wuss. I've slowly been building up the courage to do it over the years. Gosh, but I don't know if I'm now getting too old for it. I still wear clothes, which expose the belly button these days. But is it acceptable or fashionable as you get older? I personally am very squimish about my belly button. I hate them, if I'm completely honest. So I wouldn't want to get it pierced because I wouldn't want anyone touching it. I always thought I wanted a belly button. So did I. I used to think they were really cool when I was younger. I was like, but I wouldn't be able to change it or touch it or do anything with it. Yeah, same. So the only other reason why I don't like belly button piercings now is because my friend had one and it got infected Mm. and her belly button turned green. Well, yeah, I've seen one Uh, that has been like pulled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be my own, like... Like, if you got it caught on your jeans or something yeah. and then ripped off. I mean, I do think they look nice. I can't actually lie. I do actually quite yeah. like them. But I personally don't like touching belly buttons, so I wouldn't have one myself. But also, be maybe just be careful if you get it caught on your jeans. I don't know. Yeah, it depends, like, what kind of clothing you wear on a day-to-day but basis. But is, is it, like, a hoop? Or do you get, like, a bejazzle? A bejazzle? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> no, that's, that's a different thing. <laughs> is it, like, bedazzled? <laughs> I don't is it like a gem, like a stud, or is it like a hoop? I think it's a hoop. Do they hook. pierce it's either hook. side of your belly button? It's a hook. Right, okay. It's like it goes through the top bit and then it hooks inside. Right. 
I wouldn't say there's no. any age that's too old, though. If you want your no. belly button pierced, get it done. I think belly button piercings are kind of 90s. Yeah, 90s but I think that's, vibes, coming, that's kind of coming back, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't mean it's unfashionable. No, I, I don't think there should be an age... Unless you're too young, don't get it done if you're too young. But also, I don't think there should like, be an age limit upwards. Do it. You know, oh, great. Like, send a picture. <laughs> maybe you feel like... No, don't send a picture. <laughs> unless you're like 100 and you might get like 102 or something with your belly button <laughs> yeah. pierced. And... No. But go to like a place to have it done if you are going to yeah, get don't it done. Do it yourself. Don't. That's one thing I probably wouldn't pierce myself. I probably would do anything else. Anything. Well, okay, not a nipple or like I don't know what else. But you just mean you would pierce your ears, which well, you I have. have. Yeah, but yeah. I'd probably do my nose. Hmm. Or uh, would I do a lip? Probably just not. No, I don't want to. Or like an eyebrow. I feel like that'd be just quite easy. I, again, I don't want to, but those are things I would do. Maybe, but like I feel like belly buttons are quite belly buttons. Belly button, <laughs> button buttons are quite easy to get infected. So maybe just be careful. Mm. Mm. Okay. My boyfriend likes blondes even went as far as booking me a hair appointment to get <laughs> mine done. <laughs> I don't want to go blonde, but I also don't want to cause an issue. Should I get it done anyway? No. 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 Absolutely not. If he never booked me a hair appointment, I'd be like, what is wrong with you? Darling. Darling. I'd go. No, I'd go and get my hair even darker. I'd go and be like, black <laughs> I, yeah i turn i turn my hair even darker just to gripe they if they love you they don't care about blondes that's if they like blondes then go and be with a blonde that is honestly that, that is really sad i'm sorry that you've actually asked that question yeah i'm sorry and don't also, don't go and that is agony mm. and we, we are, are hearts. <laughs> and we say no Okay, and um, we're just going to do one more because that one made me sad. Sure. Um, my best friend told me he's in love with me when we were drunk, Ooh. but we haven't spoken about it since. I don't think I feel the same way. Do I say something about it or pretend it never happened? Ooh. I'd be inclined to bring it up. Depends how best friend you Well, it depends if you are. like them also. Oh, I don't think I feel the same way. Uh, maybe ignore then. I would say if you feel the same way, bring it up because there's clearly lingering feelings there. But if, if you kind of would rather stay friends and you don't want more i wouldn't i wouldn't personally be the one to bring it up if they still feel like that's something they want to say they'll bring it up again yeah i agree i would not i agree very wise i am wise it is now time for our last Ooh, that was segment very posh. it is sorry carry on what the hell sorry carry on my bad what's our game i was just about to say okay okay <laughs> It is now time oh, God. for the final segment of the podcast. It's the final segment. Okay, next. That used to be your favourite song. Still is. Love it. I've to listen to it so many times. Europa. Um, we are playing Blind Ranking. <laughs> the aim of the game is to blindly rank <laughs> things. things. <laughs> and... Was... Awful. No, essentially what's happened right. is... <laughs> okay, just before this, Izzy said, you need to introduce this. Yeah, and, and you said, said, if I'm explaining it yeah, badly, yeah. then jump in. And I'm jumping and I, in. Exactly, which is why I'm just like, well, why didn't you do it in the first place? Yeah, because you ought to speak at some point. I always speak. Okay, it's, yeah, essentially it's what's so happened cool. is Nile's given us a couple of rounds of things with different... It's a category, and then he gives us things within that category, and we have to... Place it, I think it's one to five, mm. but we don't know what's coming next. Okay. You know, you know, you've seen this before. Okay, first round. Music. Oh. Songs. Oh. Song number one. Oh. Oh, it's playing. Despacito. Oh, I do like that song. And that's all I can play without us getting copyrighted. <laughs> Despacito. Oh. I do quite like that. I don't think it would be up there with a, like a one, though. Two. Oh, really? Three. That high? I really enjoy Despacito. Okay, okay. Go with that. Number two, Gangnam Style. No. No. Five. Five. Had its time. Please don't play them all. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. Sorry, it's really annoying. It's a five. That's that's easy, that one. Okay. Anyway, three, Honey Honey by ABBA. Oh. See, I do like, I love ABBA, but I have to say it's not one of my favourites. It's, it's quite annoying, that song to me. So I would say three. No. Oh. No. One. You're putting that at one, really? I don't. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite ABBA song. No, I agree. I don't. What is your favorite ABBA song? Mm, I do quite like Angel Eyes. Ah. Mm. Interesting. And um, when I kiss the teacher, that's also a very good song. Mm. Um. So, are you happy with three? Begrudgingly, oh, yes. Budding it up here. Budding. Oh, 
Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, That's number, number one. one. That's number my one. Song of all Easy. Time. We're very we're on the same page of this. And then to end on, we are putting. So this is what four. Four. Okay. Mm. Crazy Frog. I think that's I actually correct. That. I'm actually really happy with that. I did quite like for Crazy Frog in its day. You gotta bring it the the ding ding, bring it the the ding ding ding, bring it the the ding ding, ring it the ding. Ba ba. I used to like singing that because I had it on my um my iPod Walkman. Nano. I had it on a Walkman. Mm. I had the CD. That's how I old we are. Crazy Frog CD. I found all my CDs the other day. I have some really good ones. I'm gonna try and find my CD player. It was I had one in my room that was like this big. Yeah, I loved Imagine. my Walkman. Never had one of those. I had a tape record. I had a cassette, tape cassette player. one mm. before. Yeah. Anyway, next round. I used to, it was the teddy bear Christmas song that used to. Oh, play. yes, I remember that. I used to. <laughs> down the stairs. So yes, I remember that. Christmas I still decorate the Christmas tree for that song. It's my favourite Christmas song. Oh. Yeah, I know. And how much is that dog in the window? That's not I, a Christmas no, song. No, I know, but that's how I associate it with that cassette. Sing that to Willow in the window. In the window? In the mirror. When is she in the mirror? When I lift, her, lift her to the mirror. Oh, right, okay. Interesting. Next round? Hmm. Animals as pets. Okay. okay, so we're not rating the animals, we're rating them how much we want them as pets. Okay. okay. Animal one. Frog. Right. Well, he's given a little picture of a frog. Five. <laughs> really? Oh, a frog. Oh, I quite like frogs. They get like, I feel like they make a slap, 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 slap. But as a pet? No, oh, that's quite cute. No, they're no. small. At least they're manageable. Imagine having like an elephant. Not good. Okay, four then. Okay, four. I could get on board with that. I do quite like frogs. They lick their eyeballs. Yeah, or everything you need in a pet. Gangnam style. Oh, no, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, a king kaju. I don't know what that is. A king kaju. A kinky jew. Niall, what is a king kaju? <laughs> it looks like this. I'll pop it up on the screen. Do we want that? I don't want that as a pet. That would really freak me out. Five. I, don't I like, think that would have to be a five. Like its tail. If you're if you're listening, um, it kind of looks like a ka a koala that's got all the diseases, <laughs> like all and the a diseases, long a long tail and creepy eyes. That's like a, a definite like no. Like a bush baby, but worse, but maimed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number three. So that was five. Yeah. So we've got th Four three, two, and I'll go, we've got to fill these. Okay. American pygmy goat. It's just, a, why, what was it in Oh, really? That would be one. No, I love goats. No, two. Two, we'll compromise. I love goats. They, they jump like this. Yeah, but they've got weird eyes. They, they look like Niall. Niall is a goat. <laughs> if, if any of you have met Niall in person, he, look, he gives goat. He, he is goat. goat. Particularly this goat. Yes, those listening, <laughs> it is a specific goat that I found. And I'm not the only one that sent this goat to Niall. He looks like this goat. But there we are. I put that too. Okay. Next is cockroach. Oh, oh no. no. That's got to be three. It's not one, is it? I, don't, I really would rather have a frog than a cockroach. That's no. why I said you're putting frog way too low. Cockroaches you can detain. I think I'd rather have a cockroach than the kinkajou, though. Mm. <laughs> and finally, so this is number one. Oh, no. A fennec fox. Niall, will you please pick things that people that's know what they cute. are? That's quite cute. I'd rather have a goat, but that's Humongous quite cute. Ears. I'll put a picture of it up there. God, can you imagine? You couldn't make a noise in that house. It would just be like... Do what they bite? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Do they bite? I don't know. Foxes, probably. Not happy with that. Okay, next. Accents. Okay. I feel like I'm good with accents. New York. No. Oh. oh sorry, but I'm Four. not a fan. Yeah, I'd have to say a four as well. It could even be a five for me. Really? I just find it a little bit like, I don't know, it's a bit much, isn't it? It's very, it's very strong. It's quite a strong accent, yeah. that. Yeah, you don't not, hate it. No, I don't hate it, but I mean, it, it wouldn't be one of my favorite. Gangnam style. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my laptop's malfunctioning. Accent number two, Welsh. Oh, I do quite like the Welsh accent. It's a bit sing-songy. Oh, that was bad. I'm going to caravan <laughs> on my holidays. <laughs> I'm going for a holiday in my caravan in the valley. Three. Oh, two. Three. Can we put it at a two? Three. Okay. I mean, on a man, I don't like a Welsh accent, but I like Three. it in, in, in women. I like women. it in women. <laughs> in the women. Okay, fine. So we've done three and four. Four. Okay. German. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that your boyfriend is German. <laughs> However, he doesn't actually have a very strong German accent. It's not my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Love Freddie, but I don't like the German accent that much. 
But it's not a five, maybe a three. But we've already done three. Have we? Yeah. Oh, it's a two Welsh then. Welsh was three. It's not a two, but it's a two. It's a two. Okay. It's not a five. Okay. Sorry, Fred. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not his accent specifically because I don't think he sounds very like some people are very German strong. Yeah. Yeah. Very I, mean, I don't German hate it. Strong. I don't hate it, but it's it's quite a it's quite a, a blunt. It's an abrupt. Yeah. Accent, yeah. For sure. Uh, and the last is uh, is this last? No. No. Then I've got one and five. Okay. Irish. We do I quite like, like the Irish. Irish. That could be number one, I yeah, think. It's just one. fun, isn't it? Yeah. Specifically Dublin. Yes. Mm, yes. That's what he's put specifically. Like an Irish accent. Yes, very nice. Okay. Good. Glad we're on the same page there. And so this one is what? Fifth. Fifth. Oh, Scouse. Oh. I quite like the Scouse accent. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be in like top three, but, but again, I think I prefer it on a is I think I prefer it on a man. Do than you? A woman. Yeah. yeah, I don't really know who I prefer it on. Probably, I probably don't want it on a man, actually. I feel like Scousers tend to be pretty high-pitched. Yeah. I don't know if you have, like... I've never heard of a deep-sounding Scouse person. Yeah, you have. No? Well, I haven't. I don't know. A deep Scouse. A deep Scouser. So that's last. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. But, no, I actually disagree with that. I would have put New York last. Sorry about that. Yeah, but it's, it's just out of those five. It's okay. Not, like, in general. Last is Snacks. Ooh. I love snacks. I live off of snacks, as we've discovered, because I can't figure out what to eat. <laughs> um, number one, dried fruits. Now, I quite... Mango. Yeah, I like mango. I like cranberries. I like banana. raisins. Apple. I don't like a dried banana. Oh, I know. No, I know. Of all I like the... a banana chip. No, really don't like those. There's something yeah. about them. They're too sweet for me. I huh. also don't really like freeze-dried pineapple. I don't think I've ever had fruit. No, before. okay, but other things I do like. So if I can pick the fruit, Four. apricot, dried apricot, lovely. But I feel like if you have too Four. many, too many will makes me sick. Well, it also makes you poo yourself, I think, because it's too much fruit. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> it's not good for you to have that much fruit. I like an apricot when it's like they're squishy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. when they're hard. Hard, yeah, no, I agree. Okay, so what are we put in that? I'd say four. Really, a four? Three or four, for okay, sure. Yeah, I guess there are better snacks. Number two, ice cream. I don't like ice cream. cream. <laughs> yeah. I like mint chocolate chip and that's it. I mean, I don't hate ice cream, but I would never, ever pick ice cream. No. Ever. I don't buy ice cream. No. I'm no. a custard person if I'm going to have it on a dessert. Or I'm an ice lolly over an ice cream. Yeah, same. Like yeah. I like a twister yeah. or a, um, what's my favourite? Solero. Yeah. I mean, that has got ice cream in it, but I don't just mm, like I, ice no, cream. No, I prefer like... Um... I like ice cream when I'm abroad. Like if I'm on holiday, I'm like, oh, an ice cream that yeah. will do me nice. But... Oh, an ice cream. Oh, an ice cream. But I would never pick that as a snack. No. So what are we putting it at? Five. So a five and a four we've yeah. done. Really? We're putting ice cream last. That's controversial. I, I, I wouldn't pick it as a snack. Oh, now. A croissant. I can't eat them. So yeah, I but let's say you can. Three. Okay. I love croissants. But I wouldn't have them How as a snack. How do you say it? Snack. Croissant? Croissant. 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 Oh, croissant. Croissant. <laughs> How do the French say it? Croissant. Croissant. Anyway, I love anyway, them. Niall eats about seven a day. I wouldn't have them as a snack. That is a breakfast food. No, I'd have that as a snack. I have brioche. Yeah, brioche is different. Okay. But I love pan au chocolat more than a croissant, so okay. I have to say. So, okay, three. Maybe pan au chocolat will be on there. Number four, chocolate bar. Just dairy milk. I like dairy milk. I prefer gouty, <sighs> but I like dairy milk. So what's that, two? Two, yeah. So we've got one left. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. I don't think I'd put a chocolate bar as a two. What would I'm you not put really. Sh- I don't. I like dark chocolate. If it was dark chocolate, I'd put that as a no, two. I prefer chocolate way more than sweets. Really? Oh, yeah. see, I do like quite like sweets. Mm. I reckon this is going to be crisps then, isn't it? So this is going to be number one. Rice cakes. Oh, Niall, you played <laughs> us there. Although I, that's Play probably the only like thing on there that I eat. I actually buy. I buy um, salt and vinegar ones. Salt yeah, and the vinegar rice ones cake. Are nice. Probably not a no, a plain rice cake that I can get in the bin. No, I also no. don't even like rice cakes. I'm a corn cake yeah, gal. Corn cake. Mm, no. much, much. Can you eat rice cake? Yeah. Yeah, but but you prefer corn as well. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's just universally better. If it's a flavoured rice cake, that would still be maybe like a three. Yeah, although I don't like the caramelly ones. No, no, no. I'm I'm salt and vinegar, or I like the sweet chili ones. Yeah. Very nice. Very mm, nice. Agree. But not a sour cream and chive. They taste like bad breath. Oh really? Yeah, bad breath. Interesting. Anyway, that was our 
Game. <laughs> we don't have a jingle for that one. That was our game. And that was Blind Rankings. And I think that is where we will leave this episode. Don't clap. You won't be able to hear me. Please do all the things. Write in your Agony Aunts and Answers Anonymous answers over on our website. www.shehitmewithacactus.com Com. That's the first time you've actually said it. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok, do the subscribe ring the, ring the bell and give us. us a rating if you're listening. What kind of rating would you give, give us? Give us a blind ranking of one. No, don't do that. Oh, I thought you meant rate us a one. Please no, don't, don't rate, rate us, us a, one. a one. Rate us a five. Blind or rank a the ten opposite. if it goes to ten. No, I don't think it goes to ten. <laughs> but if it goes to ten, give us the maximum. Now we're just begging. Please. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Don't really understand what's going on. It's pretty hard. No, it is definitely. It's not my only problem. Are you sure it's a bathroom? Yeah, chicken feet. <laughs>